I'd say that it wore instant attraction. I thought he was younger than me. I didn't realise that he was ten years younger than me. Um, and, and I was quite nervous about that and worried that the relationship might not work as, as good as it would with somebody my age. Um, but so far, the relationship's been fine and we work great together. I'm just going to get some nice sleep tonight. That's what my mum said to me. Like I said, I might be staying here. She said, you, you know, you could do with going to the bed. There's yeah. enough room on this bed for you and me. No, there isn't. There is. <laughs> you could spoon me. She said, it, you know, good to Julie, shattered or something like that. If you could stay, I'd like it. I'd stay only if you wanted to, but just... Cos I've never slept without you. Since you moved in, I've had two nights without you. I'm in back pains again. I talked to her about an epidural, cos she wasn't keen, but the second one's breached. Right. And Wednesday night, I don't know if it's Colette, and she quite often sticks her hands up and pull. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I did say have a chat with the anaesthetist tomorrow, and you know, don't rule it out because it's not a bad idea. No, she's a multi past two eight pounders before, so I just think when that first one comes, that second one's gonna, yeah, do some assaults. Yeah, I think I may end up having to have that. What is it, epidural on there? Whatever you think's best, love. I just think it's like a cop out, isn't it? Mm, having, no, having, having no. epidurals and not being able to feel it. Right with Beth and Abby, I just felt like I'd actually given birth to two children. We will give birth, love. And uh, I suppose if if they do something like what is it? Because I, I can't have them clampers near me or that suction thing or an episiotomy. I don't want anything. What's that? Episiotomy is where they cut you. I suppose if they do anything like that, Wait, then they I cut won't... you down there. Yeah. You, you flew to, towards your bum so that you could come out. So I suppose if they're going to do anything like that, which is a possibility, especially with her, yeah. I might not be as bothered. And if they... Cos that scared me a little bit when I read that, that they might put their hand up. She said it's completely safe for both you and the baby there. Yeah, but it's just... Mm, like it's, it's weird, isn't it? Someone placing their hand inside They know what they're doing. Don't you think that's weird? I know no, you don't. No, if like really, someone wants to put the round up your bottom, for instance, <laughs> and go like, I would like it, do it like that. No, but it'd be weird, wouldn't it, that yeah. something can go into your, your body that far? Yeah, but yeah. if it needs must. Two, three, go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know you're pregnant before you're pregnant? Like, because it worries me sometimes. With, like, with Lawrence, I knew. Right. Okay. I saw my sister and said I'm pregnant. She said, well, "How do you know?" I said, "Cause I'm late." And she was like, "How late?" I said, "15 minutes." But I know I'm pregnant. I just know. <laughs> 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 I was vomiting. <sighs> Do you want to know? I'd say that it wore instant attraction. I thought he was younger than me. I didn't realise that he was ten years younger than me. Um, and, and I was quite nervous about that and worried that the relationship might not work as, as good as it would with somebody my age. Um, but so far, the relationship's been fine and we work great together. Tired. Sounds like she's cracking on. <laughs> How many babies are born every year in the entire world? A hundred million. Very nearly. A hundred and thirty million. Mm. How many people are born every second? Ten. Four. four. I was going to say three. Four, 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 four. four. <laughs> that's... 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 <laughs> <laughs> How many people have iPods? I bet that's a lot, actually. Have you thought about pain relief for your labour? I am thinking about it now, yeah. All right, OK. Because twin two, this line across, at some stage when twin one is coming, we're going to be Moving trying up. to move twin two into a position that's easier for delivery. Yeah. And all of that is pretty uncomfortable. 
Right. So you don't want us to be doing all of that. To be honest, uh, I'm really thinking of having epidural and I okay. never wanted to, but... When, when you've arrived at your conclusions, we'll be outside and happy to do whatever you want. OK? All right. OK. Oh, yeah, I've never fainted at the sight of blood, but it, it, don't, make me, it don't make me feel too, <laughs> too good. So I could see it, but I'll try to be strong and deal with it. What are you calling him? Tyler. Tyler. Oh, that's gorgeous. Well, I might just give him a bit of oxygen. Yeah. Okay. There we are. <gasps> it's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. They're my, see, fir hey. they're my first lights. Are they? Yeah. That's lovely. Hello, my beautiful boy. Hello, sweetie. Hello. Hey, don't be crying at mummy. It's not allowed. Oh, he's got his eyes open, looking at his mummy. I think the most terrifying thought was that I had to give birth again, um, and that I had to give birth to her and a big breach. Yeah, I mean, usually you have a couple of years between births. I had minutes. Oh, <sighs> down. Oh, I don't want to push. You never quite know with that second twin quite how that baby's going to behave. Your worst scenario for a woman is to go through labour, push that first baby out, and then have to go to theatre for the second baby and have a cesarean. Do you want to marry me now? Gosh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting down on the here. No. Bye. <laughs> I finally got a boy. <laughs> I feel like you know, in, in the past, I must have done something, something good to be to be given twins. Um, it's not an everyday occurrence. It's a precious moment. Okay. And then she says. Um, the heartbeat's really, really strong on one of them. And I've just been stopped in my tracks and said, <laughs> what do you mean on, on one of them? And she went, there's another heartbeat, we're having twins. And I'm just like, no! <laughs> I said, honest to God, I said, are you not pulling, are you not pulling my legs there? She said, no, Steve, we're having twins. It's quarter past seven. We've just arrived at the women's, me and the mother-in-law. Say hi, Pat. How you doing? <laughs> Just waiting to go in and see Sarah. We spoke to her on the phone on the way on the way down here. Um, everything's okay so far. Pat will look after her if anything. Yeah. Yeah. Slept and went and left us. Yeah. Don't believe that for one second. <laughs> Samuel, okay? Yeah, it's fine. You spoke to my dad at all? Yeah, yeah, he's good. Abbott and Shorts. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one. Where's my Abbott and Shorts? I've been working at the Liverpool Women's Hospital for 14 years now. I trained there, I'd worked there, and then I started as a midwife there. I've been a midwife since 1978. There's very few midwives whose daughter's a midwife as well. So to have your daughter also pregnant in the same hospital is a bit special. Hello. Hello. Morning. She's in the loop. Hello. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not talking, come on. Working in a huge place with loads of women. Oh. You're about two. That's all I am. Yeah. That was well more than that now. <laughs> I was just coming out the canteen in work, my phone goes, and Sarah's like, yeah, we're definitely pregnant. And I'm like, yes, absolutely over the moon. Mm. And then she says, um, the heartbeat's really, really strong on one of them. And I've just been stopped in my tracks and said, <laughs> what do you mean? I'm, on one of them, and she went, there's another heartbeat, we're having twins. And I'm just like, no! <laughs> I said, honest to God, I said, are you not pulling, are you not pulling my legs there? She said, no, Steve, we're having twins. Thank you for Christmas, isn't it? How impatient are we considering we do this all day, yeah. every day? You couldn't take the smile off my face if you tried for the rest of the day. Just relax. No. Can't speed it up. Enjoy the experience. 
Mike turns up as Sarah stood outside with this look on her face and said, look at that, and there's this picture of two babies. And it was absolutely wonderful. Everybody's really excited. They were all really pleased that she's going for a natural birth. Most people with twins opt for a caesarean section. So beautiful. Oh, thanks, babe. I'd rather be hot, sweaty in, in labour, pushing. <laughs> When you've never had twins and you're not a midwife, it's lovely and twins is gorgeous, where as midwives you know how hard it is. The pregnancy, the birth and afterwards. And everyone was just, oh my God. I was like, I know. Oh, it's so much easier being at the midwife than the patient. Hello. Just a little bit of an update on Sarah. She's, uh a little tormented. <laughs> Bored. Bored. She's got, got herself all glammed up, ready for the, for the big push. <laughs> Times two. Times two. And then I'll spin you around. There she is. Hi. Hi. Oh, God, that's awful. Lift that up. Oh, here we go. Oh. You've got Morning. Something, you've got something on your chin. Which one? <laughs> so, yeah, everything's looking really good. And I'll keep you updated. Thank you. That. Sarah's always been very reliant on me. She is very independent. She's capable of going anywhere in the world, doing anything she wants, but she always has to talk to her mum. Right, I'm going to have to get up and start moving, try and get these pains. Sarah met Steve just after she was 18. Steve lives round the corner from us, and she's been with him ever since. Size of them. Whoa. I know. Thunder thighs. I know. You're all right, babe. I am. Mm. Okay. Oh, you. Oh, you too. Oh, good. Um, he used to stay over probably most nights, if I'm honest. Mum always said, though, he's not moving in. I'm not having your boyfriends live here, but I think six out of seven nights a week he did, to be honest. Well, feel that. It's it's it's, t it's more just because I'm, I'm moving. It's, <coughs> like, it's like an irritable thing. Yeah. Little head pushing down. Because you're bouncing on it. I know. Saying, get off. Come out, then. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah and Steve bought this house that they live in now. But she wasn't going anywhere. She was staying at home forever, and Steve was there with her. Can you feel that? I was waited on hand and foot. It was great for me. I'd, my tea was made, everything, wasn't yeah. it? It was just, it was bliss. So the sheet over you? Yeah. Oh, my, yeah, please. We were just delaying and moving out because, you know, why Why would you want to leave? Home's brilliant. Open your legs, babe. Why? So they fly out quicker? Mm -hmm. That's not going to make a difference at this stage. <laughs> what did you say? Open your legs because you're keeping them in. <laughs> I actually had to pack the bags, move them out the door, I bought all the food and I filled all the cupboards. And then I bought two fillet steaks, Jack of potatoes, veg, cream, mushrooms, everything, and a dessert and a bottle of wine. <sighs> Good girl, breathe through it. First one, At last. Two. <laughs> and when she came home from work, I went, right, there's your food. I want you to go up to your own house, cook a meal on your own cooker in your perfect kitchen as it is now, and I want you to sleep in your own bed. And she went, what do you mean I can't come home? So I said, no, you're not coming home. It's time you moved. <sighs> I said, but I, I, I'm on shift again tomorrow. I'm not ready to move in. And she said, no, you're going. She told everybody for weeks in this dead sad voice, my mum threw us out. <laughs> we came home and she'd packed our bags. <laughs> and I did. And I said, no, you're not coming home again now. That's it, you're gone. I'd do anything in my power just to make sure that mm. Sarah, Dad. Samuel and the mm. twins are all fine. I'd do anything for them. So that's twin one, and they'll stick two on twin two. Get you. <laughs> Big Mama. 1601. OK. And 16... 
14. Fabulous. Thank you. 13 minutes apart. <laughs> What's all the noise? Oh, wow. Mm. Thank you so Hello, much. boys. <laughs> Congratulations. Mm, I'll have a proper look at them in a minute. Thank you. It's life-changing for her. It's life-changing for all of us. Cheers. That's fab. <sighs> well done. I just say double trouble, don't they? I could just keep picturing <laughs> two little messy kids with chocolate all over the face in high chairs, just with chocolate all over them, and I'm thinking, <laughs> I've just cleaned you up and I've, just, I've got another one to do, so... It's, I'm really excited about it. It's great times. <laughs> Noisy one, this one, isn't he? Well, yeah. These babies are a blessing. I think when you've got a child already, oh, boys. you think happy days. If it never happens again, well, we're lucky. But because there's two, you go from having, you know, just the three of you to five is just like, <laughs> it's huge. Just keep looking at the camera, babe, as you were doing, that's it. Oh, we found out we're having twins. Shock. Almost fell on the floor. I basically went drip white. That's right, yeah. We've been together for about, about 15, 16, 16, 16 years. 16, 15, 16 years, I think. Then we had Danielle two years after we were met, so she's 14 now. And then we had Lewis 10 years ago. And we thought that was going to be it. <laughs> I just started to get a bit of my life back. And getting a bit of independence back, like we're going on nice holidays, mm. weren't we? And yeah, this happened. And then uh, the <laughs> babies came along again. Can I just pop that on and check your blood pressure? Yeah. Because if you start using your blood Shaking. pressure running quite yeah. high, so I've been all right, haven't I? Up until about a week ago. Mm. It's just been the last week. And has the swelling just come in the last week? Or? Um, yeah, last sort of last weekend, really, yeah. wasn't it? When I really last Sunday was. A blue up like a balloon. And it's just your, the bottom of your legs and your feet? Or... Fingers. And can you feel both babies moving? Yeah. Still can't believe we're having two babies, can you? Do you still believe it? I can't. I believe it, I can see it. Still moving. Oh, we found out we're having twins. Shock. Almost fell on the floor. I basically went drip white at first. And uh, I say I went out of the room. I just said, well, I've got to go in my car. I just went for a drive. So I just got to go for a drive and it cleared my head. But now we, we just thought, are we, are, we, are we too old to have kids, really, you know, at our age? I think, it'd be a, I think it would be a bit more chilled out this time. Do you think? No. <laughs> might have been if it had just been one. You might have been. I might have I been if it had just been one. <laughs> I sometimes worry when I have to take them down the park when they're three and four year old, and then all the other dads say, is that your granddad? Or all the other kids say, is that your granddad taking, taking you for the, for the park? Unfortunately, they're coming now, aren't they? Unfortunately. <laughs> be reet. It'll be reet on the neat. Oh, not again. You want me to sort it? No. Leave it with me. Dr. Cunner's on the on the back. Leave it, he'll find it. Oh, it's fell down. It's there, like it's there. That needs to stay up there, but that's it, I'll get it. Oh, I will. I'm going on for you now, love. Do you think it'll be? It's a big racket, isn't it? Can I take it down a bit? Take it down a bit. Stop it. Peter Andre. We got a new bird. I've been there a while, haven't I? She's a bit younger than him, though, isn't she? He's all right, him, isn't he, actually? Peter Andre is lovely. I want to go and see him at Butlins. In Butlins in November, isn't he? 39, he is, isn't he? Yeah. She's only 23, yeah. Can't wait to go shopping. Get some clothes. I'm so excited. New coat. Can't afford it now. We've got twins, aren't we? <sighs> right, I'm off for the crafty one. Look at his belly, he's got it all lopsided. 
We've got your results. I just printed off a list of all the results. They are not quite normal, and your urates, which indicate the blood flow to the kidneys, they are also slightly going up. Yeah. Probably we are best delivering you by cesarean, and we have booked it for tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, Hi, oh, right? Yeah. Well, don't I was shocked, but we're having the babies tomorrow. We're having them tomorrow section. My bloods just keep elevating and elevating, so they've put me in for tomorrow. <sighs> Scared. <laughs> I don't think having a C-section is the easy option. Definitely have to prepare myself mentally. Just sort of... It, at the end of the day, it's got to be done. There's nothing else I can do. These babies will have to come out. And <laughs> so you've just got to think of your end result, haven't you? You might have to tell me which way they're lying yeah. and where they're monitoring them and things. Um, right, head nice. down that way. Is that twin one? That's twin one, Sorry. boy. Twin two, little girl, she's either up here sometimes or right round here. Or... Is she head down as well? No, she's, she's foot feet down. OK, right, that sounds good. Do you have your other children here then? I had my son here. I had my daughter in uh, St Michael's in Bristol. But she was an emergency section. Was she? My pregnancy with Danielle was absolutely fabulous, but the labour was horrendous. I had a most horrendous three days of hell. <laughs> And um, I started off in the general hospital where we lived and ended up being rushed up to the St Michael's Hospital in Bristol. They had to get her out really quick. It was an emergency section in the end. It was just awful. It took me a long time to get over uh, with Danielle. Panic setting. Just think, oh, oh. <sighs> it'll be fine. I'm scared now. I've got to chill out. Babies. Sections a big operation. I do go into like panic states every now and then. It scares the life out of me. I am scared of the fact that because I know I've got to walk in there and I've got to have all these needles put in me and have this done. But I just hope. Hopefully, if everything goes all right. Hi. Hi. Can't believe, I still believe in me doing this again. Believe it, love. Definitely proud. She's a really caring person, like, yeah, and I'm proud of what she's achieved now. Obviously, bring up, bring up the kids is hard. Whatever happens, like, feel thick and thin, we're together. Don't you bloody pass out on me. I just can't look at that bud. Put your head behind, do you? Come here. I'm all right. It's liver number one. Yeah. Maybe need four sacks more. Feel a bit strange. Just can't wait to see him, man. Is it quite? Right, big bum. It's a little bummer. A little bit, isn't it? Can you go on it? I can't. I just can't believe it. <laughs> well done. One down, one to go. <laughs> You're fine, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Girlie? Oh, yeah. yeah, she's fine. She's fine, yeah. She's all right. Hello, darling. <laughs> Pulling me, one of the biggest achievements in life, up, up to presses, having having babies and having having children, and to have two come along, is pretty special, I suppose. Here he is, my little boy. Look at his little hands, how beautiful they are. Look. Never 
smart. He didn't want to come out. He knows he's running. He wanted to cry, I think. <laughs> he didn't want to come out. What do you think, Nain? Susan? There's our babies, look. She's going to be like doing two, two things at the same time, but um, kind of like help her and I don't know, just help her out if she needs something, like if she needs one to be fed and then she can do the other and changing nappies and stuff like that, just helping her out. Oh, Mum, look! She's holding my hand. She's holding my hand. Obviously, it has changed their lives, but it changed their better, I think. Keep me young, hopefully. Now my priority is really to make sure my family's fine and they're, they're looked after and uh, other things can take a back seat really. I'll, I'll always be like that till the day I die basically. Mm. If somebody said to me this time last year, you're going to be having a baby, let alone having twins, I'd have been like, yeah, whatever, I don't think so. But it is, it's an absolute fabulous thing, especially twins, it's like, it's amazing really. My family, you mean everything to me. They're my life, really. We were told that there was a one in four chance of twins, and lo and behold, we're now pregnant with twins. <laughs> Which is really cool, cos one of each. You can see the heart beating yeah. there. Yeah. OK, so baby one is fine, no problems. Baby two is just a bit struggling with the blood supply coming yeah. across the placenta. At the moment, everything that is my world is in one place and in one package. When I think about how small the smaller baby is, it feels like, how can, how can you be that tiny and be OK? You've got me and I've got you. OK. You're doing very well. I know it's strange. It's OK. Okay, fair enough, please. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Morning, son. Your mummy's here to see you. I always felt good about Wilbert because he was tiny, but he somehow wasn't as tiny as I thought he would be. But seeing Caitlin was a lot more scary. Hello, my darling girl. <laughs> it's okay. Come with me. Where's Wilby? You see Wilby? Yeah, yeah darling. It's her. your favourite sister. Are you talking to her? You missed her, bubs. Wilbert came home after about eight weeks, but Caitlin stayed in for another four. By the time she came home, we were finally like, well, this is everything now. Now the madness begins, because <laughs> we've got our babies home. How tall are you, Caitlin? I'm this tall. She's almost fearless, and there's a bit of me that thinks that that's had to do with how hard she's had to struggle to get where she is. She's just come home against all the odds, and so actually being in the normal world is child's play to her. <laughs> is it all a bit much? Oh. It will be maybe a few years before we know whether there will be any long-term effects uh, for either of them. But 
so far the indications are that they're developing normally and they're just happy little babies. Hi. Yeah. Hi darling. Good dance. Yeah. We read a line from Shakespeare that makes us think of Caitlin all the time, which was, and though she be but little, she is fierce. That's just Caitlin for us. That really sums her up. Mm-hmm. <laughs>